Fate and Honkai Star Wars are having a collab that nobody saw coming. And I don't think there's anybody more hyped than me. The guy who has Fate Top 10 and a manga of all time, and it ain't 10. Or 9, or 8, or 7, or 6, or 5, or 4, or 3. It might be 2, it might be 1. The guy whose name is Saber Simp. The guy who, you know what? We're IRL camming for this one. The dude who. The dude who. The dude who. That's a fake tattoo if you couldn't tell. I am ready. Though it's an unlimited Blade Works collab, and I'd have personally preferred Fate Zero because that's the closest thing to a masterpiece of the Fate anime. Warning, warning, that was an opinion. Warning, warning, because that's what you gotta do these days online when voicing an opinion. If I say Fate Zero is a masterpiece, then what they hear is Fate Stay Night sucks. Nobody said that. Fate is coming and so am I. But of course, when it comes to gacha gaming and especially Hoyoverse, you can't have good things without it becoming a bad thing in some way or another. And that sentiment has easily branched off into the territory of this fake slash Honkai Star Rail collab, and it's not even completely Twitter or Reddit's fault this time. Nah, look at this. Honkai Star Rail's fake collab can fix Genshin Impact's biggest blunder. Blunder is diabolical work. This collab has nothing to do with Genshin Impact, like, not even remotely, not even in the slightest, not even to the brightest, not even in the tightest. What? Pause. I'm sorry, I was trying to rhyme. I skimmed through the article. Somehow Honkai Starro having an upcoming collab turned into an excuse to bash against an impact for their previous one. Now don't get it twisted. That Aloy collab was atrocious. Character nobody cares about, and you make it even worse by making the character suck. But somehow the issues people have with this collab have branched out further than the actual anime itself. They also have nothing to do with the game itself. It has everything to do with Genshin and the recent whitewashing drama. Will they white in Archer? Hopefully Archer doesn't even get included in the collab. Pretty mid character in my opinion. At least in Unlimited Blade Works he was pretty mid, and that's very generous. Archer, no! <laughs> They're gonna whitewash you and nerf your kid. <laughs> Run! Honestly, he's such a bad character that if they do add him in the collab, I hope that he is whitewashed and made so poorly that he makes Aloy look like the LeBron James of collab characters. All right, I was kind of ODing it with the I hope he is whitewashed part, but I stand by the second part strongly. This collab needs Gilgamesh, Artoria, Ilya, Rin, and Medusa if they're feeling generous. No Shiro. No Archer. Yeah, I'm a Shiro hater. Say it with me, everybody. No Shiro, no Archer. No, no Shiro, no Archer. Archer. Alright, can I stop? Clearly, these people care a lot about this because people are afraid Archer will be whitewashed. Um, well, actually, Archer isn't even black in the first place. His skin is actually only tanned because he exerted his magic circuits, meaning that the cause of his darker, burnt looking skin is quite literally magic burnout. I'm kidding, kinda. Obviously he has a clear set design and it'd be a shame to change that, but that is a very different thing than a game changing their own characters versus a game changing one that's not theirs. Regardless, instead of being concerned with dumb things like that, you need to be asking the real questions like this. And can I say something regarding the whole Genshin Impact racism drama? Can I tell you something? Uh, yeah. Who cares? <laughs>